Why is it spinning? You might ask. Well, it's spinning because there's a gradient in the Planck field. It's not uh, completely homogeneous uh, in all uh, direction. That is, um, you know, at the cosmological scale, the Planck field has a density of 10 to the minus 30 per centimeter cube. And at the quantum scale, it has a density of 10 to the 94, 93 per centimeter cube. So you, there's 122 orders of magnitude density change between cosmological scale vacuum and quantum scale vacuum. And so there's a huge gradient. Think of it as a gradient in air mass that produce hurricanes. Well, you know, that's only a few degree difference, which means that the molecules are very, very slightly bigger in the hot air than in the cold air. And, and the result is that, you know, the, the system is seeking equilibrium and you get, you know, millions of, 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 of tons of, of, uh, of water orbiting at high velocity. You get electro, electromagnetic discharge, very large magnetic fields, right? Uh, uh, plasma discharge, we call lightning everywhere. A lot of it, a lot of electric fields. Um, and, and even in the center of these, uh, of these uh, orbiting systems, like hurricanes, recently, and what I mean, I mean that relatively in the last 10 years or the last thing, uh, it was like some, I, I was in, it was in the 90s when these articles appear, I remember that, uh, was discovered that the center of hurricanes emit gamma ray, you know, which is remarkable. Uh, so, so that there must be uh, matter antimatter collision that are occurring. In the, in the eyes of the hurricane that are called sprites that are measured, that, that are now being uh, actually uh, measured and, and, uh, and photographed uh, uh, in space from satellites uh, above the hurricane. 